To access your SSR reports, click on Operational Reports within the SSR menu here, and then select SSR Reports here. You will also notice that when you access the SSR Operational Reports that the menu automatically collapses for this section of the system. This gives you more real estate to view your reports. You can expand the menu at any time by simply clicking here on the three stack bar icon. Here at the top of the screen you will find the SSR report option tabs. Click on the specific SSR report you wish to see. You may run the following reports. The procedure by date report will produce a list of all of your saved cases within a particular date range sorted by date. The procedure frequency report will produce a list of the frequency of primary procedures for your saved cases. The wound classification report will produce a list of wound classifications based on all of your saved cases. The patient's attribute report will produce various attributes of your patient demographics based on the data saved in the SSR. Patient attributes include pre-op sepsis, sex, ASA status, functional status, emergency surgery, and age. And lastly, the post-op occurrences report will produce a list of post-op occurrences by frequency and or CPT code for all of your saved cases. To the left side of the screen here, you have the following report filters available. Date range, row, procedure location, and primary procedure with the CPT code listed first, followed by the procedure name. For the primary procedure filter, you can select one or more of the listed procedures here to drill down into your data. Select the other checkbox here under procedure type to populate your additional procedures in your SSR reports. By default, all of the filters will be selected when accessing each SSR report. To narrow down the data you would like to see in your report, you can modify the filter selections by unchecking any of the unneeded boxes, like so. SSR reports will automatically reset to the default setting, Select All. So make sure when accessing your reports, you always apply the appropriate filters. Now let's take a look at the reports within the SSR, starting with the Procedures by Date report. This report will produce a list of your saved cases within a particular date range sorted by date. At the top of the report, we have the total number of cases here. If you wish to drill into the case level data, click on the hyperlink under the Access Case column here. You will notice that your case form opens. You can make any necessary changes or updates to your case and be sure to always save your case as the case form does not automatically save. You will also notice the ability to sort each column header in ascending or descending order. And you can do this simply by clicking a header and choosing a particular sorting order. Here we will sort by patient name. You can also sort by age at surgery. Next, we have the Procedures Frequency Report, which produces a list of the frequency of primary procedures of your saved cases. Here, you can view a breakdown of your primary procedure count and percentages. To do this, click on any of the values in the count column to highlight the primary procedure count and percentage. The corresponding data will display in the details view here. Finally, you have the grand total number of procedures here. Now let's imagine you wish to download all of your procedure frequencies for your hospital into Excel. Go to the three bar stacked icon located to the right of the screen and select export. Next, select Microsoft Excel and select Active Page from the drop down menu and click OK.
select active page from this menu you will notice that your report will download to your computer here After opening your document, you may not immediately notice your procedures by frequency report. So use the tabs at the bottom to locate your report. The tab will be labeled Procedure Report by Frequency. After clicking on the tab, you will notice your procedures frequency table appears. This file can be saved as a PDF if needed.